Okay, not what I had in mind. <gasps> Inside Out, like all of Pixar's movies, went the extra mile to give us that little personal touch, depending on what country you were viewing the film from anyways. So we're checking out all the changes they made for the international releases. Number one, broccoli is delicious and Japan knows it. For the release in Japan, the broccoli that baby Riley is spoon-fed is changed to bell peppers. As it turns out, bell peppers are more disliked than broccoli there. It's hard to believe, we know. But that's what Pixar artist David Lawley said, and well, it's just true. It's a cultural thing. Director Pete Docter explained that in Japan, broccoli is not considered gross. Kids love it. And so they asked them, what's gross to you? They said green bell peppers. So the animation team remodeled and reanimated three separate scenes, swapping out the broccoli for green peppers. Number two. It only makes sense if you swap out the baby food, you better swap out the Zaw, too. Well, Baby Riley's broccoli didn't make the cut, and neither did the pizza. While the English version was so busy being saucy towards broccoli and Hawaiian pizza, the Japanese version was slandering the bell peppers again. Congratulations, San Francisco! You've ruined pizza! There's nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza, by the way. And just a little fun fact, Hawaiian pizza was actually created in Canada by a Greek immigrant named Sam Panopoulos. So if you want to pick a fight, take it up with the hockey lovers of the North. Number three. And while we're on the subject of Canadian inventions, it's almost like we planned this segue. Riley's father can get up to some daydreaming at dinner. And in the American release, he's daydreaming about hockey. Okay, in most versions, he's daydreaming about hockey. But some countries wanted something that hit a little closer to home for them. Or at least, maybe Pixar thought some countries wanted that. So instead, the father was daydreaming about a soccer or football game, if you will. Yes, just like the Americans changing the name of football to soccer, changing that daydream was totally unnecessary. Not everybody opted for the change of sport, though, including the UK. Hockey just made perfect storytelling sense, since the movie is set in Minnesota. It isn't like they changed every single hockey scene for international releases. A huge part of Riley's identity surrounds hockey. It isn't like they reanimated the entirety of her experiences skating. And this hockey daydream connects Riley's love of the sport to her father. It's kind of a silly change, made for a relatively meh joke. Number four. It very well might not have mattered if the cotton candy elephant could read properly. He was invented in the imagination of a toddler. However, it's the little details that really make a difference sometimes. Not only was the danger sign reanimated into other languages, they also reanimated the way Bing Bong points with his nose from left to right to right to left instead, to line up with the languages like Hebrew that are read the opposite way of Latin languages. D-A-N-G-E-R, shortcut. I'll prove it to you. Number five. No, they didn't just swap Riley's mom out. Swapping whole characters is a ton of work. Just ask Wreck-It Ralph about its release in Japan. When Minty Sakura replaced Minty Zaki. While Inside Out really put in that extra effort to swap out the danger sign, this can get, well, incredibly tedious to have to do so for every bit of text that appears on screen. A far more common choice is to find a symbol that's universal to do away with any text whatsoever. So when Riley was receiving a call from her mom, in English it said mom, but in other languages it was just replaced with a picture of her mom. That would make for a far more convenient insert. But it it wasn't even in all the English releases. In England, it is far less common to say mom, so they also got the picture instead. Number six, changing the title is probably the most common movie alteration with the most variation. Sometimes it's just necessary for titles to be changed in other languages. But what we definitely weren't expecting was the amazing translation of Inside Out in Hungarian. Major apologies if this sounds terrible. Eigmanok, once translated back to English, means brain elves. Google Translate, which is totally 100% reliable, confirmed this. It's oddly fitting, yet oddly not fitting. Brain elves? We didn't picture them as elves, but we love the title nevertheless. 
It is definitely the most fun translation, too. France had a pretty fun one, calling it vice versa, which is also pretty cute, but Brain Elves takes the cake. Do you plan on Google translating other Pixar movies now? If you do, leave your finds in the comments. We've gotta say, we admire the level of detail Pixar strives for. They could have just done some corny subs and called it a day. Was it really worth it to completely reanimate the broccoli for an international release? Which topping on pizza is worse? Broccoli, bell peppers, or pineapple? Let us know your raw feelings in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome animated content.